Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, hope you're doing well. A uh, couple of other things before I get into this bad boy. Um, firstly, thank you guys so much again for watching. Um, today was actually my wife's birthday, so I wasn't able to really get online at all um, because we spent the whole day together, and I uh, helped with her family for her surprise birthday party, so it was super fun. Um, and she really liked it, so I spent the day with my wife, and I I loved it. And um, so I wasn't able to get to your comments, but I will. I promise tomorrow is my uh, resting day um, after um, church. I'll come home, grab some more coffee, and I'll get to all your comments. So thank you guys for leaving your comments and sharing with me. But today's episode of Ricky Vlogs Every Day in April is um, the Comedy Bible. Um, I was asked via Snapchat from Nice One Franzi um, to... She was, say, she was asking me how... I structured my jokes because that would be something that she'd be really interested in. And I'm super glad you asked, Afranzi. I Thank you so much. You're such an engaged viewer and person and great. Uh, congratulations. You're just awesome. Um, so, uh, I, and I also kind of glossed over how um, my open mic went. Uh, it was really late. Um, I, goodness, what did I do? I, I stayed up super late. Uh, I got there like at 8.30, didn't go on until like 11.50, 55. And uh, it's kind of the nature of what open mics are because the new people kind of have to wait. Um, I haven't been to this club as often as I have all the other places. Uh, but anyway, there's that. Uh, but I did about a, a three and a half minute set. And most of what I learned as far as structure goes comes from this book. It's a comedy Bible by Judy Carter. You can probably buy a used version like I did, the one with the binding just falling completely apart. Um, I have a half price books or on Amazon, but it's a pretty good book and it's it was published in 2001. She has a new book called ah, The Message of You Turning Your Life Story into a Money-Making Speaking Career, uh, which I haven't gotten to yet, but I really love what she's written in this book. Um, so, without further ado, I will tell you guys um, how to structure a joke um, based off of Judy Carter. Now, the book goes in way into depth into like how to structure uh, comedy and like how to come up with ideas and all these other things. But this is basically the comedy structure. Um, and so it goes attitude, topic, premise, act out, and we'll, we'll just stop there. And so that's what it looks like. Uh, ah, oh, no. Books already falling apart. But yeah. So, right there. Attitude, topic, premise, act out. And then there's mixed act out as well, but uh, we'll just cover the basics here. So, with attitude, your attitude is basically how you feel about the topic. And what that does is that allows you to basically have an opinion about it. Because you can almost think of it like um, setting up a joke like, you know what's weird? Or, you know what's scary? You know what's hard? You know what's stupid? Which are all the attitudes that they recommend. Now, she, she recommends you going with four attitudes, which is weird, scary, hard, or stupid. Just because, for especially for people starting out, those are like the strongest um, attitudes to go with because people can relate to those attitudes. Um, and so, there's that. And then, there is the topic. So, basically, what your topic, what your joke is about. So, to give you an example, um, so your topic, let me see, let me see, where is it? It's, it shouldn't be that far away. Um, I might just have to skip it. <laughs> uh, okay, so basically your topic is like what your joke is about. So it can be about relationships. So, you know what's weird about relationships? That's how they kind of recommend you start out. So, um, and then you have your premise, which is, so if your attitude and topic is like, relationships are weird, then you have to kind of prove it in your premise. So, um, I think, let me think of one I did this past week. Okay, so I said, um, you know, actually, I'll, I'll go with hard. I'll go with hard as the um, attitude. It's like, um, what's hard about anniversaries is there's a lot of pressure to make it super romantic. And then it's like, it's like, what's hard about celebrating anniversaries for me? It's just like, the the pressure of having, of the anniversary having to be really romantic, 
And so then there's the act out. And that's when you would go out and just kind of pretend like you're acting out a scene, basically. So I say, you know, anniversaries are really hard because there's a lot of pressure for them to, for the anniversaries to be really, really romantic. Like I was telling my wife, like my wife was telling me, uh, uh, so this is what open mics are a lot like. Um, like my wife told me, so what super romantic thing are we gonna do uh, on our anniversary? And I grabbed her by her hands and I looked at her in the eyes and I said, we're gonna pick up a pepperoni hot and ready. When I married you, I didn't know you'd say yes. I didn't think our relationship out this far. I love you. <laughs> um, so that's that. That's the one I did. And then I also did a mix in the act out and it added on to that joke. Um, so that's basically <laughs> how jokes work. Uh, it's tough delivering it via YouTube uh, and not having my notes on me because I'm kind of like improvising a lot of what I would usually say. Um, because I... I, I yeah, so that's how it works. Uh, attitude, topic, premise, act out is how most jokes typically go. And the attitude for me has been like the strongest part of the joke just because if you don't have the attitude then you're just kind of telling a joke, which is fine, but it's the difference between performing comedy and just kind of telling comedy. Like, if anyone, like, I don't know, you know how people will say, oh man, you just had to have been there because... Like, you're, you're trying to say the exact words that they said, but how they said it is how the delivery is delivered. Like, that's all in the attitude and the act out. You know, it's a combination of those two. So, hope you guys enjoyed this seven-minute comedy lesson, um, and I hope that I explained it well. And I appreciate you guys being forgiving of the process, because a lot of open mics are um, comics really working out their material and seeing how the audience responds to it and seeing what works well and what doesn't. So um, if you guys have ever wanted to do stand-up, I'm sure there are places um, in your area that you could probably find a place to do that at. Um, my, I guess my, not this one, but just something to be aware of is like most comedy clubs are really smoky and I don't smoke personally. So that's just something to be aware of. If you don't smoke, it's just something about the atmosphere, at least for most of the ones I've been to, with the exception of the improv. The improv, I think, is smoke-free. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys thought of this. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, and, Franzi, thank you so much for suggesting it. But let me know in the comments um, what you thought of the joke <laughs> uh, that I attempted to perform for you guys, as well as... Um, if this was helpful or if you ever thought about getting into comedy or doing stand-up or just a general conversation about uh, improv and comedy, not improv, uh, but open mics and comedy and stand-up and things like that. Okay, so this vlog is so long, so I'm going to go and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for being here with me and sticking with me. I highly recommend this book. So. Talk to you guys later. Bye!